Although Job's three friends, so you might know the story, Job's three friends, they felt they were pious. They lived the righteous life. Job, they felt that Job was horrible. They thought they were speaking for God. They completely misrepresented God because they didn't have intimacy with him. Look at this scripture. This is what God said. I am angry with you and your two friends, for you have not spoken accurately about me. You don't know what you're talking about, basically. My serv- as my servant Job has. So take seven bulls and seven rams, go to my servant Job and offer the burnt offering for yourself. My servant Job will pray for you and I will accept his prayer on your behalf. And I will treat you, I will not treat you like you deserve. In other words, you deserve worse than this. For you have not spoken accurately about me. But when the, if you read the book of Job, you find that these friends thought they were speaking for God. But they went. There are many who think they're speaking for God, but they are not. Not because they are bad people, but because they don't have intimacy with God. King David, in the opposite hand, is a guy with full of moral issues, moral failures, and all kinds of mistakes in life. But yet, this guy did not misrepresent God. Why? Because he desired intimacy with God. I just want to show you the in the power of intimacy here. He is not always doing the right thing. He never spoke against God in any shape or form, regardless of what he's facing in life. Job, even in the other hand, at some point, started cursing the day he was born and, or, you know, I'm, I hate this life. Why did he even bother creating me God? He didn't curse God, but he kind of said things that God was not happy with. But you would never see that with David. Look at what David said in the book of Psalm 27. The Lord is my light. And this is a time when David was facing all kinds of calamity and challenges in his life. The Lord is my light and my salvation. So why should I be afraid? The Lord is my fortress, protecting me from danger. So why should I tremble when evil people come to devour me? Which is what happened to Job. His friends came and to devour him and Job lost it. When his friends started attacking him, that's when Job lost it. But David, who is not that great in terms of purity, when evil people attack me and devour me, my enemies, foes, and all of those people, they will stumble and fall, not me. Why? Though a mighty army surround me, my heart will not be afraid. Even if I am attacked, I will remain confident. What, what is, what, in what will they be confident in? Look at this. Because one thing I seek, I ask of the Lord, and the one thing I seek the most is to live in the house of the Lord. So it doesn't matter what happens to me. I just want to be in your presence, God. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you're facing. Just desire to be in the house of the Lord all the days of your life. Doing what? Not complaining. No, delighting in his perfection and meditating in his temple. What does that mean? Of course, meditating in his temple here means staying in his word, enjoying his presence, singing, dancing, fellowshipping with him as if trouble is not around you. This is how to deal with calamity. This is how to deal with situations that we are facing on a day-to-day basis. Are you facing anything right now? That's your scripture for you. That's the scripture. One thing you ask and one thing you should seek the most is to be in the house of the Lord, enjoying God. Why? Because for he will conceal me there when trouble comes. He will hide me in his sanctuary. He will place me out of reach on a high rock. Then I will hold my head above my enemies and who surround me at his sanctuary, I will offer sacrifices. With what? Not complaining. With shouts of joy, singing and praising the Lord with music. Hallelujah. That's what I call representing God well. Because you know what he will do. You know his heart. That's a David that will actually sin against God. And yet what he does, he runs to the same God that he sins against. For protection. Even if my father and my mother abandon me, the Lord will will hold me close. He says in verse 13, Yet I am confident 
I will see the Lord's goodness while I am here in the land of the living. That's such person who knows God's heart, knows that God will meet him no matter what her God will seek um, protect provide for him and protect him and he finishes by giving us this wonderful advice and let's say it loud please wherever you are wait patiently for the Lord be brave and courageous yes wait patiently for the Lord that's how we represent God but you can only do that if you know his heart if you know him better and that is the benefit of intimacy.